Hello guys. How are you doing? Today we're gonna learn how to beat Liberators. Wow. But how is that possible, you may ask? Well, this is really simple. In a really quick tutorial that's in a strategy that's really safe and really effective, we're gonna learn how to beat Liberators. So now we're gonna go step by step, shall we? The first step is gonna be able to secure an expansion on then a third base really safely without having to think too much about what your opponent is doing. So we want a really safe build and once we have a free base economy, we can go ahead and kill the liberators of your turn opponent. But now we're not quite there yet, so we're gonna talk about the early game a little bit. I mean, like this is a 4 player map that's usually really crazy in PvT, which is why I chose it, because this build is really good on map where you're really not comfortable doing what you usually do because this is like a strategy that you'll be able to do on any map it's better on some map this one especially but you can pretty much do it on every map so here the thing i want to do is do a really safe opening so i'm gonna scout after the gate and then i'm gonna take an expansion because i want to know where the terrain is and what he's doing as fast as possible to possibly not get cheese or if he's doing something special i want to know about it as soon as possible so right now, nothing unusual, 19 Nexus, then 20 Core, you're gonna build Cyber Core in a way that is making a little wall. It's not really necessary these days, but it's still better than nothing. So now I'm gonna take another second guess, and in this strategy, I really, truly, let's say, exaggerate the safe aspect of it. I'm gonna go for a Stargate, but I'm gonna make a more ship copy before it. So you might see some a lot of protos really rush the targets. We don't want to do that. We want to be as safe as possible, so we don't have to think about anything. So we're gonna make a mower ship core, an adept warp gate, then a star gate, and the mower ship core will allow us to defend the reaper without losing a probe every single time, which is really cool. Plus, then the mower ship core has a lot of energy, and you can defend a whole entire base with only like some overcharge on pylon. Anyway, this is really great. So here we get unlucky on this cutter open at last, but it's okay because on this position we can possibly scout with the more ship core. Oh look, a reaper. Well, he didn't do anything. Thank you, more ship core, for being here. So now I'm just yellowing with my probe, checking. Okay, there's a CC. Everything is normal. And I didn't click on the building that I saw because I'm a scrub. But let's assume for a moment that I'm, I didn't see anything. Usually Terran will hide their technology. So the Reaper is trying to poke in, but this is really bad. Because he's not gonna see anything. Uh -huh. And I have a target at home. I'm building a pylon here at the ramp, and you will see why very soon. With, since I have the pylon here, I can then put all of my units a little bit more to the right. And if he goes to the right, well, I can kill the Reaper. And if he goes to the left, well, you will see what happens. So now we're just making probe and we're adding two gateway, three gateway, we want to be really safe, rushing the nexus, if you rush the nexus too much you will die, so that's why we're making three gateway. Oh, no Reaper, don't do it, you have so much to live for. Ah man, he didn't respect the pylon, that's what happened. So now we're gonna chrono boost an oracle, and with this oracle, especially since it's later than what you will probably see in pro league, I'm just gonna look for like scouting what my opponent is doing, and maybe if he's fucking up really hard, I can maybe do a little bit of damage, but I just want to see what my opponent is doing on React. Because with this Oracle, I want to be able to secure that really fast front nexus. So now we put the front nexus, we take the gases, we have free gateway that are soon to be warp gates, and we're gonna really soon add the technology. So I'm check that. I'm building this pylon a bit early because I like to have the fast warp in. I'm checking with that. Okay, so what do I see? I see a really fast Starfall, wow, that's really fast, really fast team, really fast medivax. A really good strategy on that map, which is actually pretty good against this build, so I'm going, I'm going to have to get a bit creative. So I was so amazed by your strategy that the macro behind it is not too good, but it's okay. We know what our opponent is doing, and we can make some mistakes as a Protoss. It's, it's alright, everybody makes mistakes. We want a build that it still is very strong, even if we don't play perfectly. So now I'm like, huh. Really fast medivax is maybe gonna be abused like between the third and natural. So right now the correct thing to do would have been to put two pylon and position it constantly. That's in the main thing I should emphasize here. Since we have free gateway, if we put this constantly, we actually have quite a bit of units. 
So right now I should put two pylon, and I only put one. But it's okay. Here I'm searching blink on plus one attack. This is the toughest upgrade that I want, that I'm really gonna be able, like, hello me to have a really strong army in the mid game. So I'm trying to up some more stalker. As you can see, I'm pretty clueless about that drop. But it's alright. I'm gonna get a bit lucky here. This random pylon is gonna save the day. If I had a pylon in the middle, it would have been more than fine. Really, really, like, the rule of thumb is that if you're feeling vulnerable somewhere, just put a pylon and you're gonna feel a lot more secure. So anyway, what is the strategy now, you might ask? How are we gonna beat liberators? Aha, only here comes the solution. We're gonna have a shit ton of gateways to, at the end of the day, which is a total of 10 gateways. At some point, we're gonna throw a robo because we need to be able to warp stuff on sea mines. Silly mines. See? It did. We have a lot of stalker even though we went targets. That's because we produce constantly. So now I'm putting a cannon because for some reason I thought there was a, gonna be a mine drop. And honestly, these days, Terran do random mine drop all the time. So putting a couple of cannons once you feel safe is more than okay. Really, this is fine. Like, I'm keeping my oracle at home because the oracle also helps us with mine pretty much. But really, if you're feeling comfortable, don't hesitate to move out with the Oracle and tag the army of your opponents. That's what the Oracle is here for. So now after 6 gateway, I drop a Robo. I'm taking a 5th gas at my 3rd base because I'm feeling adventurous, but usually we want to stick at only 60 probes on no gas at the 3rd base. Oh, here I am not reactive enough and I cannot. Over I didn't overcharge my pylon in time. It's alright, everybody makes mistakes. We're still gonna be able to defeat our opponents. Okay, so now don't misclick it. You need to research the Adept upgrade on plus one armor. Some people will research plus two attack, but plus one armor is cheaper and comes faster, so you can hit a really strong timing. Yeah, click the pylon. Don't be afraid. Click the pylon. So now, what's the goal of the game? We want to make a war prism, we want to make an ops, and we want to produce an absolute shit ton of stalker on adepts. And then you might ask, but how does this counter liberators? Well, you will see soon enough. So now I'm making a warp prism, and one of really th important thing here, you might want to attack right now and be like, ah, you have a lot of units, but no, you really need, it's one of the important thing. You have 10 gateways of production, your army is gonna be really strong for a while, so don't be afraid to wait for the upgrade of the adept on the uh, prison armor, so you have a really, really strong attack, which is also really important. And also, this oracle usually is supposed to attack the mine, because observator has a tendency to not be here or get killed, which is never nice. So now we're just swapping stuff and making a bank of pylon, really. Everything is going well. So now my upgrades are not quite done, so I'm not gonna attack, but nothing stopped me from poking with stalkers. 1 ECV, 2 ECV, a mule, and we run away. Really, why not do that? So now this is gonna be the beauty. We are about to counter the mass <laughs> the mass liberator playstyle really hard here. Okay, where's our drop? Oh no, I have, don't have a pylon behind the mineral line. Really bad, you need more pylon. So here, these liberators are about to get countered so hard. And... Yeah, shade in on the marines so that your stalker can kill the liberators. See? It's so easy. Why are people blinding about liberators? They're so easy to kill. And now you, now you pretty much win the game, so you're allowed to. This is... As you can see, I have a bit of money, but it's alright. You're Protoss. He's just gonna make him more mad when he's gonna watch the replay. That's why I usually don't macro. If I do psychological warfare. So yeah, like... What's preventing you from warping at in his main base now? Nothing! You can do what you want. This is your own world. Like a game of StarCraft 2 should be a way for you to express yourself as a Protoss player. So if you want to warp 12 at in his main base, well, please do! I'm not gonna stop your creativity. And as you can see, he had made Liberators, but it still lost the game. And well, that's why this strategy is a really good strategy. Thank you for watching, and see you guys next time. I want to quickly put out here, that's me, Lilbo on DNS. This is the first video for a new YouTube channel for Low Twilight Council. We stream pretty much every day. Great Protoss gameplay, as you, as you have seen here. And if you guys want to check us out, then the link is in the description below. And I'm going full YouTuber here, which is a bit weird, but anyway, we're doing great Protoss gameplay. If you guys like it, please support us and please follow us. Well, that's all for now. Thank you, we'll see you guys next time.